días, buenos días, hoy es martes, the 3rd of enero, 3rd of January, 3 de enero, and I hope you're well, and we're reading in 2nd Peter, and by the way, I mentioned it last week, but I want to say it again today, did you know how good God has been? This is my 731st devotional. Started back in uh, 2020 when the pandemic was at its height. And um, I'm so thankful I've been able to do this. Thank you for any letters, words of encouragement, any Christmas cards you sent me. Thank you. If I got them late, I'll send you my Christmas card back. And um, I'm just very thankful I can do this. Um, We're reading in 2 Peter. And we found out yesterday Peter is an apostle. He calls himself that. And you know his little bit, hopefully, from the Gospels about Peter. He's kind of like ahead of the curve and bragging more than the other disciples and arguing who is the greatest. He obviously didn't get what Christ was about fully at the beginning. But, you know, we're all a work in progress. And God made him into this an ex- excellent apostle, man of God, preached the first sermon of the Christian era. Did you know that God anointed him so much when he preached that thousands came to faith that first day that he preached? And very unlikely person to preach. Like if you denied the Lord three times and said you didn't know him and cursed the third time less than two months before, uh, would you pick that guy to be the first preacher of the Christian era? No. But God, who is rich in mercy. God loves to show. He delights in mercy. Peter is a trophy of his grace. And he's writing now to believers who are mostly in uh, what we call Turkey, but this letter will circulate, found its way into the uh, canon of Scripture. And he is now wanting to encourage them before he gives them some warnings about a big problem in the Christian church of that time, false teacher. So we pick up verse 2, which is part of the greeting. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. Let's get it straight. Grace and what? Peace. Gracia y paz. Be yours. Notice, in abundance, mucho. Through the knowledge, not about the Lord, but knowing the Lord, growing to know him better, uh, knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. Notice that this grace and peace comes through knowing and walking and becoming more intimate with God and Jesus Christ. We're called to fellowship with the Lord. We're called to get to know him better. And as we do, guess what happens? There's more grace and more peace available for us. So Peter is telling them that it's kind of like a prayer, isn't it? It's not who he is. It's not who he's writing to. It's a greeting that has like a prayer built into it. Grace and peace be to you. More and more in abundance. Through getting to know God in a better and your Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, help us to know you better this year. As we get to know him better, guess what? All other things are happening around us and in us, even though our focus is just to get to know him better. When we open our Bibles this year, why don't we say, Lord, I just don't want to understand intellectually. Reveal yourself to me through these scriptures. Give me a deeper understanding, a revelation. Revelation, reveal it to my heart, the eyes of my heart, my understanding of who you really are. Remember, you can be a theologian and be uh, a very bad Christian or no Christian. And uh, the people who knew the Bible best in Jesus' day were the ones who crucified. So we don't want head knowledge. We want 
heart knowledge to know the Lord better. Now, grace and peace is he what he wants them to experience more and more in abundance. So what does that tell us? Well, let's start with grace and peace. Grace is the blessing of God, love, the love of God in action. It's God doing for us what we don't deserve. It, there's so many definitions of it. But it's not just the word of grace that you get saved. This is daily grace, daily blessing, daily supply, daily mm, love in action from God. And peace. That word there means heart peace tranquility of your soul, freedom from agitation and fear and being all hyper on the inside. That's not God's will for any of us. So let's stop today. What do you need from the Lord? What do I need from the Lord today? All we have is today. Um, we can have it in abundance. It can grow. Even though we have grace, we can have more grace. Isn't that something? We're going to learn about growing, how important that is. A Christian who's not growing is going backwards. We're going to learn that from 2 Peter. So do you need more what? Grace? Do you need more strength, more wisdom today? What, what do you need today? It has to come from God. He's the giver of every good gift. And it has to come in a gracious way of you not earning it. Come on, dare to believe. Dare to believe that God loves you, as he says in his word. Dare to claim what God wants to give you. Come on, do that. No, but you don't know how I messed up over the new year. That happened already. You can't change that. Go to God. There's cleansing. There's more grace and peace. Did you know if you don't have peace, you can't even enjoy a steak at Peter Luger's? You know what Peter Luger's is? It's America's highest rated steak restaurant. It was won all kinds of awards. You got to mortgage your house to go and eat there. But beside that, um, I once was part of a church that had board meetings in Peter Luger for lunch. There's one in Long Island. That's where we went. But the original is in Brooklyn and Williamsburg. Oh, steak. But if you don't have peace, you can't even enjoy that, uh, that steak at Junior's, at uh, Peter Luger. Without inner peace, you can't enjoy your children. You can't enjoy a raise on your job. Why? Because if you don't have peace of heart, you don't have any kind of life. You just, you're in turmoil. Life is agony when you're churning inside, guilty or condemned or worrying about the cares of life and you lose your peace. So today, let's claim grace in abundance and whatever peace you have, ask God, God, I need more peace for this year. I got a lot of stuff happening around me. And in this culture and the day we live, oh God, mucho paz, por favor. May God grant you peace today. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.